Hi everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a very special get ready with me video. I recently went to one of my good friend's wedding, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what hair and makeup I wore and also my outfit, just in case you guys are going to a wedding and need some inspiration. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I will be starting with my eyebrows, so I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil to just comb them out and also fill them in. Just spreading that all over my lids to get them ready for my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be taking my Naked 2 palette and using this color in Foxy, I'm going to spread that all over my lids to just give me a nice matte base. be using this eye shading brush from Sigma and this is an E55 to just spread all my eyeshadow evenly. Now I'm going to be spritzing some of my MAC Fix Plus fluid onto an eye shading brush to apply this half baked golden shimmery color onto my eyelids and this is just going to make my eyeshadow really stand out more and make it a little more vibrant. taking my Naked One palette and I'm going to be using this color in Toasted which is a very pretty like brown plumish shimmery color and I'm going to apply that onto my crease and this is just going to give my eyes a little more depth and I'm going to be using this fluffy brush by Sigma and this is the E40. Next I'm going to use this Buck Brown color and I'm going to be using this a more condensed brush to apply this eyeshadow onto the corners of my eyes to achieve a more smoky look. And I'm going to use that same base color as the highlighter. Now I'm just applying a thin line of black liquid eyeliner to my top lids. and also a good coat of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Next, I'm going to be applying one of my favorite bronzers of all times, and this is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm just going to be applying this on the hollows of my cheeks, and also wherever the sun would naturally hit me, so like my forehead and my chin area. Next, I'm going to be taking my MAC Melba blush and I'm going to be using this big old fluffy blush brush from Real Techniques to just apply that on the apples of my cheeks and give me a nice glow. Using my F30 brush, I'm going to apply MAC Soft and Gentle highlighter onto my cheekbones. For my lips, I will be using my e.l.f. matte lip color in Praline. And I'm just going to be filling in my lips with this color. And it's just a very pretty like fall color. And I'm just going to use this as a base. For lipstick, I will be using this Ulta lipstick in the shade 122, and it's a pretty burgundy color as well. So here is the completed look. Here are the eyes, and as you can see, it's just a pretty like shimmery um, evening look, and just with a pop of color with the lips. Okay, so now on to the hair. I'm going to first start off by applying my heat protecting spray to all of my hair just to protect it from the heat damage. 
And for this look, I really want to go just for some soft curls. So I'm just going to be brushing my hair out, making sure I don't have any knots or anything like that. And I'm here I'm just using my round brush that I love. Now I'm going to be parting my hair in half and I'm going to start off by doing my bottom half first and then work my way up. And I find this to be the easiest way for me to curl my hair just because I make sure that I get everything done um, from the bottom which is usually the hardest for me, the bottom and the back of my hair. And then I just finish off with the top of my hair. So today I'm just going to be curling my hair with a 1 inch regular curling wand and I'm actually going to be starting the curl from halfway down so I don't want you know those really tight curls so I'm just going to be starting from halfway down my hair and just curling towards the ends of my hair. I'm also going to be curling my hair away from my face. So that way it's easier to just brush out and give me just kind of like a more loose curl at the end. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my hair. I'm just going to be bringing down more hair from my clip and just curling it away from my face. So it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. some of my favorite hairspray and I'm just going to be spritzing this all over my hair just to make sure it stays in place all night and then I'm just going to shake my hair out a little bit to just make the curls a little bit more loose and that is basically it for my hair. For my outfit I decided to go with this black and beige lace dress. I ended up pinning just a couple of pieces of my hair back just to give it a little more style. But here is my outfit. Um, here is my dress and this dress I got at this little boutique in my hometown. And I also paired it with these black pumps with these cute little bows on them and these are from Dolce Vita. And here is a close up of the makeup once again. So for my jewelry, I paired it with this cute gold um, ring from Charlotte Bruce and also my black quilted Chanel bag. And here's a close-up of my shoes. I love these shoes. These are just so cute. And then I just have um, this little belt that I actually came with another dress, but I just paired it with this dress and it just has some cute um, detailing on it and just some beaded bangles and also the chandelier earrings that I got at Forever 21. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun um, making it and also um, getting ready for this event which was just um, so great and I was so glad to be a part of it. Um, and here are just a couple pictures from the wedding that I did attend. Um, so uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!